Mountain regions are home to a diversity of plants, animals and people. Mountains are on the one hand spatial obstacles to overcome, but on the other hand appeal to countless people across the globe. The beauty and uniqueness of mountain landscapes and the culture of their inhabitants attract many visitors. Mountain regions are involved in roughly 20% of global tourism, which is one of the fastest growing economic sectors worldwide. For instance, more than one million tourists annually visit Peru's Machu Picchu. In Switzerland, the Jungfrau Joch, also called the top of Europe at 3,500 meters above sea level, counts over 800,000 visitors. In both industrialized and developing countries, the effects of mountain tourism bring about many challenges. Social equity, governance, cultural transformation, and protection of natural resources and ecosystems. Tourism has the capacity to transform both mountain landscapes and local societies. In developing and transition countries, the simple lifestyle and dire poverty of many remote mountain people often clash with the wealth of foreign visitors. Nevertheless, tourism can help to reduce poverty as it provides alternatives to traditional livelihoods and contributes to the development of mountain regions. Results are, for instance, improvements in infrastructure, creation of jobs and businesses, or new markets for local products. However, in many cases, economic benefits of tourism development primarily go to external providers and tourism operators, while local communities only obtain nominal gains. Sustainable mountain tourism therefore calls for a fairer distribution of costs and benefits. Local communities should be able to use tourism to strengthen their social ties and cultural identity. Tourism in mountain regions impacts the environment. On the one hand, it creates incentives for the protection of natural resources and ecosystems. On the other hand, overuse and exploitation lead to environmental damage. Nature-based tourism can only have long-lasting benefits if precautions are taken to limit negative impacts. Besides from human-induced effects, local inhabitants are also exposed to a harsh environment and a multitude of hazards. These are further exacerbated by changing climatic conditions, making life in the mountains a true challenge. Many mountains in the north and south have a tremendous power of attraction. During certain months of the year, parts of the Alps or the Rocky Mountains become gigantic sports arenas. In Tanzania, Mount Kilimanjaro is visited yearly by about 45,000 alpinists. The touristic hotspot of Nepal, the Mount Everest National Park, receives 30,000 visitors per year. However, not all potential tourist destinations in mountain regions profit from tourism. 
the Wrangell Mountains in Alaska or the Simeon Mountains in Ethiopia are examples of poorly visited places. Hence, the development of tourism in mountain regions should be encouraged in order to foster alternative income opportunities. At the same time, it is essential to keep in mind that tourism is vulnerable to climate change, political and economic crises, internal instability, and competition over various resources. Therefore, building a shared vision concerning the objectives and modalities of tourism development is of utmost importance. For this, local stakeholders, governmental entities, and private and associative partners need to be jointly involved. Die.